Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We will continue explaining chapter 17, Parallels and Transversals. First of all, put the following materials behind you and put your homework. Our objectives to this video are, this is the correction of the homework. In this figure, my students, if we take line X and line U, then we can say that M is a transversal and also T is a transversal. If we take line M and line T, then we can say that X is a transversal and U is a transversal. Alternate interior angle. If we take line M, line T, and the transversal is X, then D2, A4, alternate interior. D3, A1, alternate interior. If we take line M, line T, and transversal U, then we can set that C2, B4, alternate interior. B1, C3, alternate interior. You can complete if we take line X and U, transversal M and T. Corresponding angle. Example, if we take line M, line T, and transversal X, then D1, A1 corresponding, D2, A2, D3, A3, D4, A4 are corresponding. If we take M and T and the transversal is U, then C1, B1 corresponding, C2, B2, C3, B3, C4, B4 are corresponding. If you take X and U with a transversal M, then D1, C1 corresponding, D2, C2, D3, C3, D4, C4, and also for transversal T, the same. Our first objective to this video is recognize and use the property that the alternate interior angles formed by two parallel straight lines cut by a transversal are equal. Pay attention to the relation between alternate interior angles and the parallel straight lines. First of all, my lovely students, open your books, activity 2, page 192. My students, line D1 and line D2 are parallel to each other. L1 is a transversal, L2 is a transversal. Look for alternate interior angles. They are equal to each other. And here, alternate interior angles also are equal to each other. I will move the transversal. Pay attention to alternate interior angles. As I move the transversal, alternate interior angles are equal. Why? Since the two lines are parallel. Theorem 1. Two parallel straight lines cut by a transversal form alternate interior angles that are equal in pairs. Example, in this figure, line D and D prime are parallel to each other. Then we can set that angle A4 equal to angle B1 alternate interior angles and angle A3 equal to angle B2 alternate interior angles. Application. Calculate the values of angle B1 and B2 if angle A4 equal 105 degree. The answer is angle B1 equal to angle A4 equal 105 degree. Why? They are alternate interior angle. Here angle A3 plus angle A4 equal 105 degree. Then A3 equal 180 minus 105 equal 75 degree. So we can set that angle B2 equal to angle A3 equal 75 degree alternate interior angles. Our second objective is recognize and use the property that the corresponding angles formed by two parallel straight lines cut by a transversal are equal. Now the relation between corresponding angles and the parallel straight lines also, my students, open your books, page 192, activity. In the figure here, my students, line D1 and line D2 are parallel to each other. L1 a transversal, L2 transversal. Look for corresponding angles. They are equal to each other. I will move the transversal. Pay attention to corresponding angles. As I move the transversal, corresponding angles are still equal to each other. Why? Since the two lines are parallel. 
Theorem 2. Two straight lines cut by a transversal form corresponding angles that are equal in pairs. Example, D parallel to D prime. These two lines are parallel. Then we can set that angle A1 equal to angle B2 corresponding and angle A2 equal to angle B1 also corresponding angles. My lovely students, you should study these two theorems. Application. Find the other angles in the adjacent figure. My lovely students, stop the video until you solve the application. The answer is angle beta equal 108 degree. Then this angle is also equal 108 degree since they are equal since they are corresponding angles. Angle alpha equal 180 degree minus beta, then it is equal 72 degree. Then gamma equal also 72 degree since they are corresponding angles. This is the homework. Thank you.